This is the Power Vision S1. It's the world's smallest three axis smartphone gimbal standing at 14 centimeters tall and it weighs an incredibly light 298 grams. Let's go ahead and unpack this and see what this thing can do. Now the PowerVision S1 combo pack comes with the mini gimbal itself. It also comes with a phone case for your specific model and also a tripod. So inside each of these boxes, you'll find these accessories. So here is the gimbal like you've just seen and you can see it fits within the size of the palm of my hand. And I'll cover a little bit more about that in a second. The phone case, you can actually buy a phone case for your Apple iPhone. I think they range from models 11 up to 13 or the Samsung S21 range. If you don't have either of those models, then you can actually use the included universal mount to be able to use the gimbal. This gimbal actually works off of very strong magnetics, which I think is a very convenient way to mount and unmount your phone off of the gimbal. Inside the phone case box, not only do you have this phone case, which is for my iPhone 12 Pro, it actually is quite nice. It has this kickstand that actually moves up and down so you can actually use your phone. If you just wanted to place it on a desk like so, then you can do that. You can even do it horizontally like so. Then it's a nice little feature to have and it works very well. Now this section on the phone case is what's used to mount to the gimbal. And I'll explain how to do that as well. But you can see there's a tiny little ridge just there at the top which it clips in to the magnetic part of the gimbal itself. And just complementing that, you have these very two strong magnets that you can just place anywhere around the house. So it could be on the wall, it could be in the kitchen, on your closet, wherever you like. And essentially what this is for is for you to mount your phone with this case on to this magnet anywhere you like. So if you wanna do it on a wall, then you can do that. This is super strong. Now, once you mount it onto your phone case like this, you literally just peel off that 3M sticker place it anywhere onto the wall. And actually this is so strong. It, the first time I put this on there, it actually took me about five minutes to take it off, but I really needed to dig my nails underneath to force this off. And that just shows the strength of the magnetics that are provided with this whole combo pack. So you have two of these that you can just place anywhere. Along with the gimbal, you have yourself the user manual, a USB-C charging cable, a universal phone mount, just in case you don't have a phone case for your specific phone. And if you have a very small model phone, like the iPhone mini, for example, or any of the older phones, then you can use this sticker, which is made as a riser pad to give that elevation to be compatible so that it fits perfectly to the gimbal. And then you also have a tripod leg in addition to inbuilt tripod legs that come on the PowerVision S1. This one is extendable. So once you mount it to the gimbal, you'll see here, this actually comes out, so it stands pretty tall, like so. There we go. And you just mount the gimbal on top and it makes it a lot easier when you wanted to use the app to maybe use the features for you to record yourself. So that's a nice thing to have, but it also has a universal screw mount. So any other tripod that you buy that just places on the desk, you can just use that with this as well. And you don't have to use this specifically. And finally, the gimbal itself, just to get you up and running and started, comes with these labels as stickers to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to unpack it. So the first step is you have to lift this flap. This is where the mounting part of the phone is, which is super magnetic. Now this is number two, which means you twist all of this out and it flips out like so. And then number three, you'll see it's just there on the axis itself. You pull this out upwards like so. This is the very strong magnetic that will clip to your phone case. Number four, you'll just see it's behind there. A slight twist just so it will enable it to be positioned correctly for your phone like so. It's now enabled the axis. And then you just close this flap and that's it. You're ready to go. It's a four step process. Just underneath here, you've got some hidden tripod legs, some mini ones. So you just literally flip this one out. Then you have two just there. They're kind of like little pens that just pop out very thin, like so. And then there you go. You see how quick and easy was that? But let's go ahead and get this started.
Now just a quick closer look of the gimbal itself, you have the USB-C charging port here. This is the power button, the shutter button to take photos and videos, the joystick, so you get a very nice 150 degree axis turn of the joystick. You've got the telephoto and wired zoom buttons, some LED indicators for the battery life. So it's very simple, but there's one other feature that I really like about this, and that's this here at the front where it says power vision. This actually doubles up as a power bank so you can put wireless charging compatible devices on this to charge it up. So all I need to do is press the power button once, you'll see it lights up to power on, and you can use that maybe like your AirPods Pro, you can see it's indicated that it's now charging. Or also, I can use this for my iPhone. There you go, it's now starting to charge, which I think is just a very convenient thing to have if you want to take this with you because it is very portable and like you saw at the beginning, you can even have this in your pocket or your purse, your backpack, anything you like. And having that wireless charging capability, I think is very important just if you are out and about for your filming or your shooting. If you don't have a wireless charging compatible phone, you simply get your USB cable, put it into the USB-C port, and then just use that as a separate power bank. And you can always make sure you have enough battery life on your phone to be able to complete all of your shooting on this gimbal. Now, speaking of battery life, this gimbal actually operates up to 15 hours of battery life, which is amazing for a gimbal of this size. That kind of equates to around 4,120 milliamp hours of battery life, which is huge for a device like this. So now let's go ahead, turn this on and mount my phone. Okay, so let's open the gimbal app, which is called Vision Plus S1, available both on iOS and Android. So it's pretty straightforward. When you first log in, you'll see this menu screen. So I've already paired this, so I've gone straight into the app. This big red button is the one that will take you directly to the shooting mode. There's also a tiny button just next to it, which is called Power Follow, and I'll come onto that in a second because I think that's a very key feature. When you go into the app, on the right hand side, of course, you will see all of the common modes that you expect from every gimbal app. Right at the bottom, you have time lapse mode, then you have slow motion, you have video, photo, and then there's a few panorama modes, which I will show some samples for shortly. When you go to video, the most important setting for me personally is to make sure I have the resolution right. So there's an options button here. So there you can select on the resolution. So you can do 1080, 30 frames per second, or you can drop it to 720. Or like I have, I can do 4K at 60 frames per second. Some options are only available at 1080 resolution. So I will show what they are. So if I come out of that at 1080, there's this option here called beauty mode that allows you to cycle through some filters. So you can whiten the picture, make it more rosy, make it very smooth, or just do a bit of color correction. Most people may not use this, but it's there as a very nice feature to have. But for most part, I'm going to keep it at my 4K 60 frames per second. And then you also have options to set the grid lines if you wanted to show that. You can also showcase the different color modes that you'd like. I will just turn that off. And there's an icon here on the top right, which is for following. If you select that, it will try to detect a face and then you can move around, have the freedom of movement without actually using the gimbal itself and it will follow you and it does a very good job. The key thing I wanted to highlight here is this button on the left with the hand. If you turn that on, that actually turns on gestures. So for me, that is a very cool feature. Let me show you an example. Now there's two types of gestures. You can make the L symbol with your hand, which will start and stop the recording, or you can show your entire hand, all five fingers, which will start the face follow. Now let me show you starting the recording first. Doing this, it gives you a three second countdown, and automatically it starts recording. So if you're at a distance and you're gonna be busy with your hands, that's a very quick and easy way to do it. And you can see how responsive that was, and I can't highlight this enough, this is the most responsive gimbal app that I've seen for gesture controls. Now, if I want to move around, all I simply do is show my entire hand. And you can see it now starts following my face. So if I move to the left, if I move to the right, and if I start standing up, moving back, it still does a good job keeping me in frame, even though you can see it's pretty dark and I'm pretty much dimmed out because I don't have a very good source of light on me, but it can still pick me up. Let's see how far I can go.
and I'm actually so impressed of the responsiveness and the accuracy in the tracking and if I wanted to stop the face tracking let's say at this distance instant you know I've used a lot of gimbal apps in the past which have gesture controls like this but none of them are as responsive as this so I'm super impressed with the app on its own and if I just wanted to stop the recording stopped instantly I can even do both at the same time so let me start the recording and do the tracking at the same time in the same kind of gesture L5 look at that it's following me it starts the recording very quick and easy and I can stop both of them as well in the same way it was like less than half a second so power vision have you know really gone above and beyond to give me that capability in such a compact device now whilst I'm here I'm just going to show you what the power follow feature is because I think that's very nice and a lot of people have asked me this question in a lot of my gimbal reviews I have the follow currently set to on whilst I set to on on the top left I will click on the home icon now as I mentioned before the red button there takes you to the app itself then you also have this button just below it which is power follow we select this one you need to enter power follow mode if you want to use the actual gesture controls with any other app outside of the Vision Plus S1 app. So if you want to use your own native camera, if you want to do live streaming, maybe on Facebook, Instagram, you want to record TikTok videos, anything you want, you can use those by doing power follow. That essentially will start broadcasting this feature from the app in the background whilst you open up other apps. So hit start broadcast, there we go. Hit the start broadcast button there gives you a countdown and there you go you are now broadcasting so I can come out of that and open up any of my other apps so let's do the native camera one I can just press the shutter button it's now starting to follow me because it's running in the background so let me go to video mode on this there we go that is so convenient to have so whether it's my own camera app or if it's Facebook live or anything like that this works perfectly and like most other gimbals this can work in portrait mode as well double press the power button very quickly turns into portrait mode and then I can start using this and again it follows me very easily so if you wanted to maybe let's say you go on Instagram now you can use Instagram and you also use this follow mode whilst it's running in the background and if you wanted to stop that just press the shutter button again on the gimbal it will stop moving let's close some of these go back to that one you can see following mode is enabled if I wanted to turn that off just tap that and then you'd click on stop broadcast you also have the option here to do some video editing so when you go to the creation tab you can go to create select any videos that you've taken you know let's just take one for example it's upside down so I need to correct the orientation on that but you can add yourself audio layers you can do effects stickers captions add text add filters it's a complete you know video editing app inside the gimbal app itself which is a nice thing to have and once you're done with the gimbal like I mentioned you literally just pull it off and the magnetic is very strong so even if you move this around quite fast you can be confident it's not going to fall off and finally, let's test out the stabilization and some of the other features. So I took this out and I wanted to test out the gesture controls again, just to give you guys an indication how well it performs outdoors as well. So let's start off with that. So guys, I have the gesture icon there selected. So I can now use gestures to start the recording and to follow me. So I'll start off with the L. How quick and responsive was that? So now, the recording has started I'm at a distance so it's very convenient now if I want to move around just show your entire hand it starts to follow my face so there you go it's recording if I drop down a little bit it still follows me pretty low and even if I move a little bit fast the tracking is actually done very well with this app it's probably one of the nicest and easiest apps that I've used for a gimbal so this is something that I'm super happy about because it works so quick and if I just stop 
the response of it stopping immediately is amazing. If I just want to quickly start it, just do that. And I can do stop, L, stops the recording straight away and stops the face tracking, which I think is amazing. And then I also tried out some of the panorama features, which I was quite interested in. So the first one you're seeing here is actually the three by three panorama feature. And you can see it takes nine snapshots, which it stitches together at the end. And ultimately you can see it's a very nice wide angled, kind of like a fisheye view of the landscape and your environment. So I think it's done a good job there. Secondly, I tried the 240 degree ultra wide field of view. That's the panorama that you know really creates a very long strip. And like you see, it does it in segments. Overall at the end, you can see a very clear and non distorted picture of an entire panoramic view. And third, it has this clone feature, which you can add yourself three times in the same picture, which just gives you a very cool effect if in case you wanted to share that with friends and family or on your social media. It gives you five seconds to step into the frame when it's taking a photo. It then stitches that together at the end and you can see the result, you know, it looks very cool. But the main thing is the stabilization. It is a three axis gimbal. So let's start off with just walking with the gimbal in my hand. And then I'll also show you some examples with running and maybe holding that on an electric scooter. So in case you wanted to hold this or mount this onto a bike or an electric scooter or anything like that, how stable it still looks. So just as an example, I'm walking. I've got the camera set to selfie mode using the S1 app, just to show you how smooth and stable the gimbal actually is. I think it just does an excellent job. And pretty much with all of the other gimbals I've tried in the past, this is just as good as the premium ones, which are a lot more expensive, a lot larger. Just because this is a very pocket sized, very tiny, small gimbal, does not take away from the fact that it still performs very well as a three axis stabilizer. Now, what did you guys think of the stabilization? You know, when I played that back myself, I was super impressed, especially for a mini portable size gimbal like this, how stable the footage actually was. I expected it to be a little bit shaky because, you know, there's a lot of things on the ground that were obstructing my running, my walking, and even the scooter as well. So I felt like it was quite bumpy. When I played it back, it was so smooth. And, you know, I've used gimbals in the past, which, have been very premiumly priced and are very compact as well. And they've even provided a little bit more shake than this one. So what else can I say? You know, this is probably the gimbal that I'm going to use for all of my smooth footage. If I just want to do some filming myself, I can use the very quick and easy gesture controls to follow me around. And ultimately, I think this is an absolute bargain for the price you pay and the entire pack that you get. And let me know what you guys think as well. So I'm very happy to hear your feedback on this gimbal. If there's anything else you guys want to know specifically about this gimbal, drop a comment down below and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. £189 at the time of this video being published. Check it out. It's mini, but it's powerful. Plenty of options, plenty of accessories. PowerVision have done a great job. And if you did like this review and you like all things tech, I have new videos out every week. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those ones. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.